Only Coventer can use items while Hollows cannot. The dreadful eyes of death spread disaster across neighboring worlds. Phantoms lured to the host world may end up as victims, allowing the eyes of death to multiply and leading to further proliferation of Bane. Lures phantoms from other worlds. Does that just increase your chances of being chosen for an invasion, perhaps? If I had to assume? This is so creepy. I'm being so careful. These things are called basilisks because basilisks, they look like creepy frog things. You can cleanse it with a stone. Well, those are st stones are pretty plentiful. I shouldn't have any problems. Oh, Jesus. I'm playing very carefully. Try a plunging attack. Let's, let's wait until this one gets closer to us. Oh my god, see, those are like weird frog toad things. Let's, let's play it cool. Playing it cool. You're dead. Got him. Weird tidbit about those guys, those big things are gas sacks, not eyeballs. What? <laughs> That's so gross. Ah! Just kill him! Ah! Please don't. Please have mercy on me. Oh, there's a status effect. Okay, we're good. We're good. Soul of a Nameless Soldier. There's a merchant close by that sells... Oh, the, the, the stone for the cursing. Yeah, I, uh, I know what you're talking about. I've, uh, I've seen that. Um, the guy in the, in the chapel... The guy in Undead Parish that sells... Uh, after you kill the gargoyles, he's, uh, he sells them as well, and they're pretty cheap. Absorbs HP from fallen enemies. Is there a downside? The strength of the evil eye does not waver and HP is absorbed from fallen enemies. That seems great. Alright. That seems fantastic. The fewer Estes we gotta use, the better. Um, so, sparing me having to take the time to look it up, can someone tell me where the Dark Phantom would show up? if I was human, because I would like to... I would like to do that. Oh! Okay, well luckily we've killed all this stuff already. I'll have to make a jump. I can see how that's a shitty trap. You fall down the hole and you land right on top of these things and instantly get cursed. Even though I don't actually know what cursing does, but everyone says that it's, uh, they shouldn't tell me, which means it must be particularly bad. Nice humanity. Thank you, Michael Waters. Appreciate it. Saying great playthrough so far. Around a bunch of rats near the bonfire. Fun fact, those spiky stone men are actually other players that got cursed and died in another world. That's great. Cursing is 50% life gone and you die. I mean, if you're dead, does that really matter? You mean like 50% life gone and then you... You respawn and persistently have 50% health unless you purge it? Am I understanding that correctly? What's up, Cult of Steven? Okay, we're going back to the bonfire. We're going to reverse hollowing and try to find and kill a black phantom. Then we're going to go for the boss, because we've basically uh, scoured this area. As far as I can tell, there's nowhere else to go unless someone wants to tell me about a secret that I might have missed. Your HP is halved until you purge it. Oh, that does sound like a pain in the ass. This is where the... Yeah, this is where we came from. I feel like I've uh, killed every enemy down here. 
<laughs> like, I think every enemy has been killed. See you later, Taros. Thanks for sticking around for a little bit. Okay, let's go talk to that merchant and see what they sell. Oh, they're past the gate. <laughs> Look at this rat! What are you doing, buddy? How'd you, how did it even get in there? Is this Blight Town? Okay, let's go talk to this fella. Hi, Shabai. And good day to you. I'm Donald of Xena. I'm just, well, a peddler of sorts. I adore trinkets and oddities, so I trade for them. Why are you here? Hmm. I'm afraid I don't see anything here. Crystal straight sword. That seems pretty good. It has... A fully crystallized straight sword. How such a weapon was created is entirely unknown. Crystallization boosts its attack but makes the blade brittle. Oh, and it can't be repaired. That kind of sucks. I can buy his armor. I don't have enough souls for it, but... Uh... Huh. Gold pine resin certainly would be nice. I still have two left over from the ones I found earlier. I don't need it. I've <laughs> never played a single Dark Souls game in my life. Glad to see there's an obligatory sewer level. Indeed. That is Blight Town. Got it. What time is it in your region? It's 4.18 p.m. Uh, okay, so this brings us pretty much straight back to the bonfire. It's so hard not to get lost as you learn these areas. Like, we were down in the sewers for a long time, just sort of running in a circle. Those things aren't back, are they? Wait, this is the wrong way. That's the bonfire. The depths is skippable. Yeah, Brett and Keith were telling me there's multiple ways to get into Blight Town. So I assume you could just skip all this. I'm trying to... I'd like to do as much of the game as possible. Even if it's, like, areas that are considered annoying, I'd like to, to hit all of it. Um, I had talked about getting a tomb-in up to 12 so that I can start um, having slots. Oh, 10 gives you one slot. That's good enough for me. And then we'll dump into strength and probably dexterity eventually, because I would like a, a one-handed, like, scimitar or something. There are two ways into Blight Town. Okay, let's, uh... So all the enemies are back now. Let's reverse hollowing. Is it... I don't think... It doesn't strike me as being worth kindling this bonfire. But, uh... Okay, so we're, we want to go in and figure out where the guy is. The guy, wh the guy that we're looking for. We're not going to summon people. Um, where the, uh, the Black Phantom is. Hey, Dust Cakes. Glad to hear that you are looking forward to the stream. Will this guy chase us? I mean, I could kill these things. See, he's coming to us, so I'd rather just kill him. Otherwise, he'll chase us through the whole level. So we want to come down, right? Yes, because this is where the shortcut is. Okay, so... Never played a single of those. Okay, so can someone reiterate to me where the Black Phantom is? So that I might find and kill him with the least amount of wandering around possible. The Black Phantom is where you fought the Basilisks. Great. <laughs> okay, well, I guess let's do that again. Because those scare the crap out of me. There's also a thing on the ceiling, isn't there? Yes, there is. Humanity! No. Your predecessor gave us one. 
So for those of you that are new to this game, basically sitting at the bonfire refills your Estus flasks, but it respawns all the, most of the enemies. Some of the enemies don't respawn. Like I assume that giant, that didn't look like the giant rat was back when we went through the shortcut. It's like certain large enemies do not come back. We can see if there are any NPC summons for the boss now that we're human as well, assuming we don't get killed. But if we do, that really wouldn't be that bad. We could just pick, re pick up our humanity and. Um, just reverse our hollowing again. Super happy I'm able to watch your stream, Jay. Made my day a bit better. Very happy to hear that. Glad to hear that, uh, that anyone's day can be a little bit better. Hate this. Damn it. These things, it, I feel like, may, oh, it's because I'm human. I was going to say my resistances seem higher. Don't run away from me. When do the basilisks show up? Aren't they, like, right in here? I can't unsee it now, Hal. You said those those aren't even eyes. Those are big gas sacks. So creepy. There he is. Another eye of death. Let's go. Please? <laughs> that was a backstab. That should have been a backstab. Let's go! Let's go! What you got for me? Humanity and spiked shields. That sounds pretty neat. Okay, I'm gonna run back to the bonfire real quick because I need to uh, go get some more water. But we're still human. We killed the guy. We got a, spark a spiked shield. I guess that's exciting. We'll see how the stats are on that. We also got a spider shield. I, I always... I trek through these areas and then I... Uh, I just, like, hang out uh, before I take the time to see what all these items do. Anyway, uh, give me uh, less than five minutes. I will be right back. Okay. Okay. So, I guess while we're here... Wow, let's let's just sit so that we don't get <laughs> fucked for whatever reason. So, I just want to see... So, we're using the Night Shield. Spider Shield seems slightly worse. It has much better fire resistance. Spider shield does. Hang on, let's just... Sorry, the in I'm still getting used to the inventory system. It's so strange to me. So spider shield has better fire and lightning resist. So I might swap to that. Higher durability, and it's lighter. Same stability. So that's a good flip, I think. What about this thing? The percentage of physical reduction is only 90%. I'm not thrilled with that. Can be used as a weapon. That seems pretty cool. Um, I think I'm going to swap to this. I forgot to remove that a while ago.
Um, and I gotta start considering what we're gonna do here. I mean, I could backtrack all the way to upgrade my weapon, <clears throat> but I'd rather go at least try the boss. Jay Barino, give us a play-by-play -play of everything that happened. I'm getting a message on. So just one second. Sorry about that. Uh, okay, so we are going to try to fight the boss. Now, we have some souls. We might as well level up something. Strength for now. I think the longsword is just like a shitty strength weapon, so we might as well do strength. Hey, Manus. Thanks for dropping by. Uh, down here. Shortcut. Probably don't need to take the ladder, as we've learned. Because I accidentally just dropped down there when I opened it up and didn't die. So <laughs> didn't take any damage, so might as well. Y'all are talking about a dragon tail weapon? Yeah, I was told that I should cut the, the tail off this dragon. Probably don't even need to kill these things, but... Souls, you know? Easy kills for easy souls. Someone was saying they have high physical resistance, but I don't have anything that does magic damage right now, so, uh... Unfortunately, that's what we're stuck with. Good. Where's that rat? I want you sneaking up on me. So is there anything in the depths that I might be missing? I think I think we're in pretty good shape. I believe fire works best here. Well, unfortunately, uh, we have no. Well, I mean, we we freed that pyromancer guy, but he did nothing for us. This is not the right way. <clears throat> Fire damage for the slimes, not magic. Okay. Okay, boss time. We're also human. Were there any summon signs up here? Let's see who this is. Is this just a person? Solaire? We could summon Solaire for this boss? Nah. I'll, I'll consider summoning if we have a lot of trouble, but maybe we'll see how this goes. Oh, I know what boss this is. I've seen this. I've never played this, but I've seen it, I think. Sir Clastic says, I've never met anyone who cries about Dark Souls difficulty. Yeah, you're right. People enjoy this game because it poses a challenge that's rewarding to complete. And some people will stop playing the game, but I've never seen anybody just outright say, it's too hard, like publicly complain that the game should be changed. They just, they just say like, oh, the game isn't for me. Also, this thing is real weird. I'm gonna assume my shield is pretty much worthless here. Hang on, let's, let's give it a moment and see what it does. And we're going for the tail. Well, we don't want to get charged. Tail! I'm, tr I'm trying to hit the tail, I promise. Ooh! Okay, then it jumps up. It looks like you have a ton of time. Okay, so it does this. Then it charges. And then we run and we attack. Maybe. Got a lot of HP. 
to oh god <laughs> that's maybe why we want to cut the tail off this thing is really slow and easy to avoid it seems like all right now it does its weird thing now theoretically it should charge disasters are gone after the defeat of the graveboard servant then we get back in there let's do this it's, yeah, it seems like you have like a good 10 seconds every time it... Nope. Ah, we got it! Nice. Now we don't we don't really have to worry about it. Uh, uh, hitting us with its tail anymore either. So, why do people tend to skip the depths? Because this seems very, this seems much easier comparatively. Yeah, now we're doing some good damage with the resin. Avoid. It's not even half dead. It's, it's got a Mondo health pool. What the what the fuck is this? Just run away. I don't know what this is. It's ooze. Ooze. It, it really likes to do that when it's very far away from me. Uh, it's, just, it's like it's attacks. Other than the tail swipe, seems like no problem. I'm just gonna keep attacking it from the back because it seems like it has no, no way to defend itself. It's just gonna take a while. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. So it'll swipe at us. Get into Blight Town straight through Firelink, so just speed. Okay. Yeah, since it's my first time really playing through the game, I'm gonna try. I'm like not. I don't think there's really a completionist way to approach Dark Souls, but I do want to try to get to all the areas. I'd like to see what the game has to offer in general. Oh God. So I think it's safe to say, well, I don't want to speak too soon, but I'm pretty sure we've got Gaping Dragon under control. This is, what an awesomely, what an awesome looking boss though. Oh shit, no! Okay, what an awesome looking boss though, holy shit. The reason people might skip the depths is because there are no really good items and not so important boss. The Ring of Evil Eye seems pretty good, doesn't it? I should just use more pine resin. See what I what I really want is I want to get a, a a good sword and shield for clearing areas, and I want a good two hander for bosses. Cause bosses, I don't know what the real situation is, but it strikes me like this. I don't feel like this boss has attacks that we would be able to block. But I do, I only have the long sword that's leveled up, so I so it's sort of like uh, can we get him? Got him. Nope, no, we didn't get him. Shit. <laughs> Um, so it's sort of like we, we should we need to get a we really need to get a two-handed weapon that can uh, take this guy out quick. Here, just do your stupid. Thing. Here. There we go. I do have this Y-hander, but it's not leveled up, so I assume like a non-leveled up weapon is worse. Like, cause I have a plus five longsword, arguably would be better. I don't know. I have no idea. So we got the key to Blight Town. I did it. And I'm still human, actually. No! <laughs> I did not mean to jump there. Okay, so there's nothing down there. So I hand is one of your favorite weapons. Let's see. Insufficient strength to wield with one hand. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> That's my one-handed swing. All right, so let's two-hand it. Oh, that's that's still very slow. And if it's only one thirty a swing, I think we want to upgrade it first because my plus 10 longsword still does better than that also is there something we can do with all these extra items because I'm just holding them and I don't know what to do with them claymore is also readily available claymore is really good okay 
Yeah, I'll consider dumping some Titanite into these. The thing is, like, I only have limited upgrade materials, and if I'd have to grind more, and I don't want to grind, so I want to make sure I'm putting Titanite into stuff that's that will take me that's that's worthwhile, basically. Uh, before I um, before I just dump it all into anything and everything. I just want to make sure that I'm not going to waste it. Because, again, I don't want to have to grind a bunch of crap. I have a bottomless box. So it's just trash? Like, I just leave it in a box? <laughs> I don't understand. Claymore is really easy to get. Claymore is in the graveyard near... F yeah, so I probably got that. Because I cleared out the graveyard already. No, I got the Zweihander in the graveyard. I'm excited I got this spiked shield, I guess. Um, Alright, let's open the door. I think my next stop is going to be to the... Um, oh, that's so creepy, the way that the lighting changed. <laughs> Good luck. Okay, maybe, maybe later. <laughs> it stays there and you can take stuff out if need be. Got it. Uh, okay, so let's get out of here. We killed the Black Phantom. We're still human, surprisingly. Uh, so we'll see if maybe we get invaded and someone, and we can either kill them or they kill us, or we're just going to die in the natural process of things and, uh, and lose our humanity. Or our... Uh, unhollowness, if you will. Okay, so right now I want to go back to Firelink, and then I'm going to go to Undead Parish. And, uh... I didn't even use an Estus, did I? We don't even need to go... Well, let's spend our souls. Okay, so it's 12 for two attunement slots. That seems worth it to me to get now, but yeah, let's do strength and endurance for now. And uh, again, eventually I'm going to start dumping into dexterity. I just want all of the basis, basic stuff. Uh, I want like enough strength to be able to effectively use a lot of two-handed weapons and have some decent scaling. Wait, is this the only way out? Okay, let's just... This is so risky. We're right by a bonfire. Just go. I'm not a big run-through kind of guy. A lot of people, I understand, they play this game. They try to... Um, they try to just find a path that they can just bolt through and basically get to the fog doors and fight the bosses. Um, I like clearing an area and exploring everything and finding as much as possible. And I do a lot of research beforehand, because, like, I knew there was, like, a Black Phantom, but I didn't really understand what I needed to do to make him appear or where he was, stuff like that. So that's where I'm really grateful that chat could help me out. Um, did that one guy who was, like, hiding above us, wasn't he in here? Okay, he did not come back. This guy is still here. Oh, hello. I'm fine, thank you. Okay. Well, maybe when we get, maybe he'll be at Firelink if we go back to Firelink. Okay, let's not die going back to Firelink. How about that? So I think we're going to go to the blacksmith and uh I'd like to go to the blacksmith, and then maybe to Dark Root, because that's the only other part of the game I'm really familiar with. And then, uh, and then the Undead Parish, like that, like revisit the oh, I'll revisit the Undead Parish, and then uh, from there, I guess it's Blight Town. I was gonna say, let's let's be. Ca I was. I looked to the chat, thinking there's no enemies here, but there are definitely enemies here. Mm -hmm. 
I beat Dark Souls with the girlfriend, literally hit her, hit on her one time saying, do you want me to unhollow you? <laughs> That's a thing, what the fuck? <laughs> But I am really getting into this. Like, I feel like I'm losing a lot of motivation to make normal videos for my channel. Anytime I find a game, like, this happened with Breath of the Wild as well. I just got super into one game, and I'm like, I just want to play this, and I don't want to make videos for my channel. Um, obviously, I will continue to make videos, but um, I've also been out of the groove because I went on vacation. I had a lot of stuff uh, recorded in advance. And now I don't have that, and also it's time to start a bunch of new series. So it's like a bunch of stuff all doubling up, tripling up. Uh, makes it so that I don't really... I'm, like, hesitant to start anything new. Let's go kill these, uh, these clowns again and see if we can get some, uh, some thief armor. Don't jump away from me. Oh, God! I deserve this. That should, that should kill any other person. nothing. Are you streaming only on YouTube or on Twitch as well? I am only streaming on YouTube. I used to stream on Twitch. I, uh, I found it challenging for, to, uh, transfer my audiences between the two platforms. And, uh, also now, lately especially, uh, both YouTube and Twitch are fairly, uh, I, well, skittish is not the right word. They're, uh, they're fairly, uh, stern about other, uh, about their, their users, uh, advertising other platforms. Yeah, people are saying there, there are no good item, items. That ring of evil eye seemed great. It seems fantastic. Jay will be uploading this onto your normal videos. Yes, I do plan on... I will put these out as, uh, as videos, for sure. Humanity. Okay, we did pick up a lot in the depths, yeah. We got six stacked up, plus a bunch of twin humanities from the bosses. I'm always paranoid of dying as I enter that tunnel. That would be so silly after all this. All right. 20 HP every time you kill an enemy, it's okay, but not great. Yeah, that's true. I, I think, I mean, it, it's diminishing returns the further into the game you get, and with the more health you get, obviously. Um, is Pyromancer Man here? That would be fantastic if he was. Here, let's get our 10 SDs back. Okay, uh, to the blacksmith, right? Because we want to try to... Oh, he is here! Well, I see you made it out. Yeah, I, I made it out safely too. I have my pyromancy of the Great Swamp, so I can usually manage with a bit of care. Oh, yeah. By the way, uh, I can share the spells with you. I think you have a knack for it. All you need are the materials. I'll be pleased to help you. Ah, um, unless you find the magic's unsavory. N no? I don't find them unsavory? Yeah, wonderful. Okay. <laughs> you know, they'll be of some use, some assistance. Here, first take this. Okay. Flame from the Great Swamp. Now you're a fully fledged pyromancer. Well, let's get started right now. Pyromancy is the art of casting fire. Produce flame, then channel it. Just as our ancestors did. Pyromancer must be in tune with nature herself. My home, the Great Swamp, is an abundant store of nature. You will understand one day. It only takes time. So I do have attunement slots now, so I could grab some of this. I don't actually even know how to properly use spells or bows and arrows. I've never done it. Um... I mean, it's relatively cheap. Goodbye now. Be safe, friend. So we he gave us away. pyromancy flames. So how do I A 
Toon Pyromancy is from a scroll at a bonfire, but is this not... So I equip this... Can someone give me, like, a real brief rundown on how this is supposed to work? So if I... Have some fire, friend. Here you go. No? Ah, uh, oh, oh boy. What the... Mm. So I think spells go in that upper slot. Because I've never had anything in that. Attune them at a bonfire. You equip it like a weapon. Because I also raised my intelligence just enough to be able to talk to this guy. Did what you do you have? Kindling is the proper Oh, hello. Well, you said my son. Because I... I was... I think I'm just going to pick up magic weapon. All right. That'll do it. That so, should help you I'm supposed game. to... Uh, See, that's not here. <laughs> okay, hang on. Let's go to the bonfire and see. You have to equip spells at a bonfire. Go through spells. First you need to buy a spell and then attune them. Okay. So there's magic weapon. Can I... It's because I'm not holding anything in my other hand? Do I need to unequip what's there? No. I feel like this is like... An, it's intentionally confusing. <laughs> and it doesn't have to be. Oh, you need a... Oh, you need a staff. Talismans are for miracles. S okay, so there's pyromancy, miracles, and magic, basically. So in theory, uh, I get it, okay. Yeah, so now that we have this thing equipped, we can cast magic weapon. Can we? No, we can, wait. Got it, got it, I got it. We're good. We're good. Okay. So now we can cast magic weapon. I don't have, I have very low intelligence, so I assume it's not going to be that helpful, but we have it now. That took... I mean, I think that took about as long as it should for someone who has no flippin' idea how to do that. Oh, <laughs> my guests have finally arrived. I will be departing with them shortly. So, I'm afraid I will be saying goodbye soon. It was a pleasure. Okay. Oh, hello. Miracles, I pre An undead mission regret, but... So my faith and intel... No, I'm not going to pay that. I'm um, that our faith and, and intelligence are all quite low. I just wanted the minimum to at least you be able to enchant my weapon. Well. You need no time to fraternize. I have my mission and you no doubt have yours. We must not let this curse overcome us. Who is this? These people all just showed up. Did I not explain the urgency of our tasks? Or are you so uncouth as to lack such judgment? By the looks of you, I should think not. How dare you? Did I not explain okay, I don't want to hear this. I could kill all of them and get this guy's golden halberd. That looks exciting. 